Hello and welcome to another Lennon Courtney Lunchtime Live. And as we mentioned last week, what we like to do is invite people who run their own small businesses in Ireland so we can help promote their business, particularly women who might wear our clothes. So this is Jennifer Haskins, who owns a dating agency called Two's Company. And we decided we might talk about dating because it's Valentine's Day, Friday week. How are That's you? right. I'm great. Looking forward to Valentine's Day and is, spreading is, the love. Is it a busy time? Do people oh, yeah. come out of the woodwork looking for love? After Christmas. So January, February tends to be a really, really busy time because people have gone through Christmas time and they go, oh no, not another year on my own. And then it's a new year, but it's also a new decade. Right. So people that are looking for love are saying, okay, I'm going to take steps now and I'm going to make this happen. Yes. And that's where we come in, where they're going, okay, give us a call, let's talk. So Two's company's name the company, and I'll put a link to the company in the website. Your website's gorgeous. Good. Yeah, you the like ad it? is really nice. It's very clear what you do. Yeah. Um, and so, quick background, how did you get into this? Oh God. Well, I was a member of an agency myself years ago. Right. And I did all the usual, the dating apps, the dating sites. So Looking for love yourself. I was at that time. Yeah. And I explored every avenue. So I decided I wanted to do what everybody else might do and have experience of it so that then I could relate to people and say, look, I've done that. I know what it feels like. I know the pros and cons. And then I had the idea to do it. I got the idea from Mairead Malloy, who runs Barclay International in London very high-end dating agency in London, read her story and went, oh my God, I'd love to do that. Okay. So my background was in business for 23 years in manufacturing. And then I studied psychology, psychotherapy, counselling, coaching. All the key requirements yeah. for a dating agency. <laughs> exactly. So I kind of thought, well, this is a good fit because I like helping people. Yeah. So maybe I can help them find love and help them even with their existing relationships to enhance that so that's where it sort of there was a synergy there and there was a good fit and is there a, a typical man and a typical woman oh god no no <laughs> there's no How core really? customer no every i mean every type of person from someone who lives in a rural area to someone who's real urbanite who's jet setting off every other weekend or on business so you know, it's from somebody who's maybe, as I say, farming a small plot of land in, you know, West Ireland yeah. to, as I say, somebody who's living in the city and, you know. Yeah. So I started this uh, thing with my friends a few years ago was any, because I think Valentine's Day can make single people, particularly women that I've worked with, feel bad about themselves, right? Because you'll Absolutely. see the bunch of the flowers arriving into the office. And often I know people send them to themselves. Just kidding. But <laughs> I, I've said to all my gay friends, you know, do yourself a favour. Send one, one woman in your life flowers on Valentine's Day. Because no matter what we think of it, it is the hallmark day of love, right? People do kind of buy into Valentine's Day. So if you're single and mm -hmm. you're watching this or you have a single friend, what advice would you give to somebody 10 days to go to Valentine's Day? Okay, well, if they're single and they don't want to be single, which yeah. is important, yes, some people yes. like being single. So if they're single and they'd rather be in a relationship, I would say take action. Do something, first of all, that makes you feel good. So if that's buying some nice clothes, or <laughs> if that's going out and You're treating good. yourself. You're, You're good. good. You're good. You can stay. <laughs> yeah, whatever makes you feel good. Do something, whether it's going for a facial, whether it's going for a massage. Do something that makes you feel good. Mm. And if you've got New Year's resolutions, whether that is to meet a partner or it could be just to lose weight and be more marketable. Yeah. Because it's about making ourselves marketable. I meet so many amazing people who I think, oh my God, if I could just help them to just market themselves in a better way. Is, is it though a little bit about, regardless of, of you know, um, what you look like if you're really content in yourself it's a much easier absolutely if they feel sell, good about think, themselves yeah, yeah exactly so it's like anything else as I say the best compliment anybody could give to another person is to say that person I like being around them they're comfortable to be around they're comfortable in their own skin yeah so that's really important that you like yourself first and for foremost because that reflects in everything you do so what goes on up here goes on everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. And we're all attracted to people who are happy, people who are fun, people who are interesting to be around. So a lot of people focus on what they want, but also what are you bringing to the table? Yeah. What have you got to offer? What would someone else like about me? What could I bring to their life that would enhance their life, that would make, make it better? 
And I think relationship is about expansion. It's about, you know, um, uh, experiencing yourself through a relationship, new things and connecting with that other person to grow as well. So if somebody is in a relationship with you and they want you to be the best you can be, they'll encourage you. They'll encourage you to do things. So I think it starts with ourselves doing something make, that makes us feel good. If, you, if you're if you really you know not happy about being alone on Valentine's Day, go out with friends. Or ring a friend. Yeah. Or we'll ring a friend and say, okay, I'm gonna cook. Do you wanna come over? And we'll sit around and we'll watch a nice movie. But the last thing you want to do is dwell on the fact that you are single. Okay, one last question. So, you're in a relationship, and I'm not talking about anybody in particular. <laughs> and you want flowers for Valentine's Day, but you don't know how to drop the hint, right? And not, you, you're a modern couple, so you roll your eyes at the notion of sending flowers. You go, oh, what a waste of money. Let's go and, and, have, and do something experiential with that money, right? Yeah. But you want the flowers. Have you any tips as a dating expert for how to get the person you like in your life to send you flowers? Leave a nice vase beside the bed. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what we, we used to do? Myself and Dave used to do on Valentine's Day to celebrate Valentine's Day because we didn't like going and sitting in a restaurant with loads of other people yeah. on enforced dating night. Um, and actually, we haven't done it in ages. We would have um, a, an indoor picnic. Oh, nice! And sort of do a winter picnic. Um, so uh, yeah, I might have a little revisit. In the nude? That. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's, she's not going to tell you that. Or you. <laughs> well, yeah, whatever so goes the, on inside your home. So, and the last busy. question, I suppose, for people who are saying, uh, apps versus agency. Mm. What's, what's your tip? Okay, there's a big difference. Is okay. there? Yeah, I mean, having done it all myself, I know. I mean, the apps are, I suppose, the way that society is going nowadays. But a lot of people that come to us will have tried them. Mm. So they might say, okay, I tried this app or I tried this dating site and I'm just completely disillusioned or, you know, it didn't work for me. Mm. Privacy is a big thing nowadays. So if they want privacy, they don't want a sort of public profile, everybody can see it. So if you see somebody on one of those sites that you go, oh my God, there's my ex or there's my friend's yeah, yeah. partner or whatever, um, you don't have that exposure with an agency. It's not like that. You, it's there's private. nothing, it's completely private. And for a lot of people, privacy is very important to them so that's one element the other element is the, the sincerity so people who come to an agency they're investing in this not only financially but they're also investing emotionally and physically because they're coming to us they're going to be interviewed they're going to tell us about themselves and their lives there's a vulnerability to it yeah but there's a, an authenticity to it mm. because think about it they're not going to go through that whole process mm. unless they actually want a relationship yeah so they're not just looking for to hang out or one night stand or hook up you know all the different phraseology has changed yeah, yeah. but that's not they're not looking for that they're mm. actually looking for something sustainable sure authentic and I suppose something that enriches their lives and they want something that's kind of going to yeah. go into the future. Yeah. So a long-term relationship. And that's like us, different. Like us, yeah. <laughs> the key to a perfect relationship yeah, perfect. is perfect. the Doris Day <laughs> and Rock Hudson model <laughs> with separate beds. Actually, you do joint bank account very like those two stories. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Jennifer Haskins of Two's Company and we'll share a link. There's no such thing as a free lunch. You're modelling Lennon Courtney. Jump up there and give us a look at you. Absolutely gorgeous, and it has pockets, doesn't it? It does. I love. You can see yourself in the yeah. Do you like it? I love the pockets. Yeah, it's I gorgeous. It's you. a color I wouldn't normally wear, but I do like it. It's, it's great. Really, and you know what? The clothes feel really good. Yeah, there's a nice hang to them. Great. Thank and you. As so I told much. you, I just bought something so, recently. Yes. One of your collections. Well, listen, I'm going to uh, add a link, and if you do, if you're single and you're looking to mingle for Valentine's Day, or if you know somebody who'd like a little help in the right direction, this is an Irish-owned company by this fabulous woman, Jackie. Thank you so much for joining us, Jennifer. Even. <laughs> <laughs> What was your name again? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Bernard. Nice to meet you. Uh, best date ever. Best of luck with the company. Yeah. And thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks for watching.